this painting very cleverly positions you on a succession of borders when you've got an urban apartment building but you've got nature as well. You've got you know, interior, exterior, you know, the closed little apartments and the expansive sky. You've got a very defined foreground and a mysterious background, you know, what's behind those trees, what's up those stairs. And then you've also got the moment itself, twilight, just at that cusp between day and night, waking and dreaming. So you're just hovering on this strange little pathway between open and close, light and dark, wake and sleep. It, it's a very ambiguous moment. By the mid-30s when this painting was made, you know, Hopper is an established and successful artist. He has just uh, undergone a bereavement. His mother had recently died and some suggest that the melancholy tone of this work might have to do with that. And of course the US has just gone through the Great Depression. Many of Hopper's works are literally offering us glimpses into private spaces. And there always seems to be some kind of quiet psychodrama going on, a, an air of tension or longing or melancholy. And I think this is a moment where if you look at American film and literature and even the social sciences, this is a moment where the American psyche is really put under the microscope. America steps outside of itself and looks back upon itself as a strange culture. And I think Hopper, you know, is there ahead of that trend.